Hey guys, what's going on today? This is me, Dal Sue, back with some more Banished. A little, little time pass off camera, if you've been watching, uh, while I cleared some resources and filled up my stockpile here with all the stuff that I'm going to need for my next two major buildings, which are going to be, uh, number one, a blacksmith. Go ahead and pop that guy down about, well, let's keep him away from the water because I think we want might want to do a trading post right there. Let's put the blacksmith there. And the next thing is a tailor. Wow, they've added some things to this, haven't they? Well, I'll probably read all that later, but... Hmm, cured leather. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and throw down a tailor. Right there. So we should be pretty close to good on the materials we need, and they should get there relatively quickly. As you can see, pretty much everyone's without a tool now, which is bad for all of our production, including food production. So that's an issue. And uh, we're going to fix that in this episode. Once we've got these two buildings, we're relatively secure. Um, I still have more space for workers and all of my food. Um, one, two, three... Uh, four, five, and six more workers that could go into food production. So, that's not bad. How am I out of stone, really? I guess these are pretty stone-intensive buildings. All right, then, gather up all this. That'll have to do. This, too, it's all kind of kind of in the way. That ought to do it. Takes a long time without tools, of course, but... Alright, we'll need to shift someone into being a builder now. We still have a fairly young population, but we want to keep this ratio good. So we need at least eight kids, which we have. But otherwise, we might have to build a new house. So this is going to get built um, by my one builder very slowly, but it will be built. I guess we'll do two. We just had a new laborer pop up. So that's all good. So that'll get built... And then this needs just a bit more stone. Just a bit. Yeah, there we go. Alright, we might as well turn these people into builders now. So that they can get that work done. Very important buildings. Let's turn it down to five so we don't get carried away here. Plenty of food. Although it's not rising as fast as I'd like to see. I will have to put some people out into other into those food producing jobs here shortly. I want to make sure I've got these two spots filled though. I think there might be something else I need for clothing besides just skins. I think I can make the most basic with skins, but all this stuff's going to have to be moved over here when we get ready to make a beautiful city, so don't get attached to any of it. It's just a temporary setup to get us self-sufficient so that we can cross the river and start to, uh, you know, make our little agricultural settlement that's going to be over here. And then cross the river down here for our industrial settlement. Then we can start beautifying this with walls and all kind of nice stuff. And it's just going to be a where, every, where, where all the rich folks live. Anyway, um, log plus iron ore we can do. There are two upgrades now. I think it used to be just one, but... Anyway, rough tools or iron tools. Yeah, we have to actually smelt iron for this one, which we're not ready to do. So we will take rough tools for now. That will be fine. Thank you. Rough tools are better than no tools, of course. And later we will learn to smelt iron. How much iron do we have? Why do we have salt there? Where did that come from? I don't know. But anyway, we have iron ore, so we're good. All right, now we can do just the leather. That's all we can do. We could also do reeds and feathers. 
We do have some reeds and some feathers. But I'm thinking probably best start with the most basic. Why can I not... Um, oh, I don't have anybody. Alright, go ahead and make us some hide coats. That'll be fine. And yeah, we're basically set up where we need to be now. All the basics are taken care of, so... My next step is probably fill up these food production places. Um, so that we can just have a real safe, sturdy supply of food. That's going to be all my people, though. And plus, we still have space over here for two more fishermen. But we have a lot of kids. 10 out of 17 is good. Still, we could use another house, really. I wonder how much leather it actually takes to make a coat. Anyway. Plenty of food. That's nice to see. Still mostly blueberries, but whatever. The number of people with out tools continues to get lower, which is great. And we're going to want to clear out all the stone and iron from these areas as we go on. Right now it might be a little difficult, seeing as how we have absolutely no laborers. Everyone is sort of just hanging out right now. Yeah, I know. Tools are low. Probably, yeah, keep it capped at 50. That sounds good to me. I don't know where the salt came from, but whatever. I didn't know salt was a thing. Is that new? It must be new. Miscellaneous includes bone meal, I guess. Judging from the symbol. We've got some medicine. We do need a uh, medicine person to be fully self-sufficient, I suppose. Although disasters are off, but still, it just keeps their general health up, which makes them, I think, work harder, so. Here we go, we got a laborer. Oof, super snowy. Make those tools. All right. So we got two laborers now, so I guess we can keep clearing this stuff out. Stone and iron ore from everywhere over here. It's a tall order, but we got to do it. We'll probably end up canceling this halfway through, but at least we know that they won't be just sitting around with their thumbs in their butts. Because we need, we do need all that stuff. Alright, we got plenty of tools. I'm going to lower this number, actually. To like 10. We really only need like 10, dude. Just to make sure we have the basics covered. You two, we really only need to have 10. Which we probably already have. No, apparently there's been a rush on these coats because they're not here. There's one. Okay. We will need a proper barn at some point, too, but not yet. I think the next thing I do is going to be a bridge over yonder. Although, it might make more sense to get the trader first, actually, now that I think about it. Or even another house. I think we could do with one more house. Our ratio is getting a little bit sloppy now. Yeah, let's do another house. It'd be fine like here and let's do two we got the food for it why not we need two more people in f in fishing anyway got the blacksmith freed up now the 
Taylor should be freed up before too long. And we're going to have even more labor to keep doing this job. <laughs> this huge, enormous job that I probably should have relaxed on a little bit, but whatever. I want to keep my guys busy. That's the main thing. I should probably cancel it. <laughs> yeah, we don't have enough leather to keep going with this. Produce about 15 a season. Yeah, this might just be a little bit too ambitious for my laborers right now. Not remove resources, that would be bad. Cancel removal. That ought to do the trick. So they'll come back and uh, work on getting these houses set up. That way we can keep on growing. And then I think the next thing I do is going to be a trader. It would be nice to get some loggers too, but I think we can just manually get logs for now. I think we'll be okay with that. I mean, it's not like there's any shortage of trees on this map, you know? Yeah, we need to have at least... We're right at perfect amount right now, but soon we're going to need more kids, so it's good that we're building these houses. Plenty of food in the larder. So, yeah. And I think what I'll do is start to develop this area as if it's going to be finalized, you know? What I'm thinking is a market of some kind flanked around by houses, of course, and then fields, fields, fields. And then maybe here in the back towards the mountains, here's where my loggers are. All the loggers bring in me a steady flow of trees. And there's also a little area up here. Not sure what I'll do with, but you get the picture. But I think trader comes first because we, we in order to make those farms, we need seeds. And it takes a long time to get the seeds you want. Plus, we need more firewood to be able to trade properly. We're about out of logs here. Um, but let's let these two builders finish these houses before we do anything else. That ought to be all right. Five kitties in the school. And I think once I stick two more fishermen down here, we'll be set for a while on food because it keeps going up and up. And I'll have to concentrate on getting some firewood because that's my early game trade resource, of course. So while we're waiting, let's look and see what kind of trade buildings we have. This is the main trading post right here. So it'll actually fit pretty nicely there. Um, 140 logs. Yeah, let's wait on that. 140 logs is going to take a minute to gather. But it is what it is. We'll, we'll do it, don't worry. You know, it might make sense to build the bridge first because then we have these... Like, I don't really want to gather trees over here where my gatherers are in full swing. So it might make sense to go bridge first. Probably so, actually. Because otherwise, there's really no trees for me to get left. Everything is um, sort of off-limits, so... Let's think about building a bridge next with reserving this space because it's a nice flat space. So we won't build it there. We'll build it sort of close by. There's so many options. I like this. Not large rivers, but will work with both. Let's just see what that might be like, shall we? Only 13 stone. I can't say no to that. It says it will work with both. So it might not look good, but we can delete it later. 
and there's a whole lot of other options for cooler bridges so I bet that looks pretty cool wow that was quick man it still needs a little building but two new family units here I expect to see some kitties very soon from them Lossy. All right, we got two builders. We should finish this up quickly. Then we'll be able to go take all the trees we want. Nice. It doesn't look bad. I, I I agree it would look better on the small river, but for now it serves its purpose. Well done. So let's take a large swath of trees because that's what we need most right now. All these trees in here. Also clears the land for our construction plans. So our two laborers are going to go do that. Because we need a lot of lumber. And all we can do is just hope uh, some of these kids grow up. Some of the students, rather, grow up. My blacksmith's not operating because he's got no logs. As is expected. So you got a bunch of people, not just the, uh, not just the laborers, but not just the two people. You have the wood chopper, the blacksmith. I assume you have the tailor on and off. Food is looking really healthy. In fact, we're gonna get full up here pretty soon. Sorry about that. I had to make a little cut there. No, I'm done. Um, I think we should put a cap on food, really. I'm thinking 5,000 is too high for my needs. I'm thinking 2,000 would be better. That way all these people will sort of come down and start helping me, which would be incredible. Then we could really get things going. Yeah, see, now they're making short work of it. That was a good idea. 2,000 food is enough for now. Plus, it'll keep us from having to build a barn right away, which I don't really don't want to do. <laughs> we might as well just clear everything, including all that food. Just get everything. Get it out of there. Strip mine. Why not? Lathaniel was born, and her bird tram became a laborer, so that's good. We're growing. Our ratio is absolutely perfect right now. Our food has dropped, so everyone went back to work, which is probably good. It being winter time, or late autumn. About to be winter time. Everybody's going and filling their cupboards, I guess. So we were reduced by about a thousand really, really quickly, which is fine. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and assign two more people there. And then when they're not, when they're not doing that, they'll come be laborers for me and it'll be great. And then in the spring, I can start building my trader. Sounds like a good plan. Hopefully some more kids graduate. Some more kids born too. There's room for people. These people are not having babies. And neither are these. I guess they're too old. Not much we, we could do right now. I don't think building a house, although Lynn's going to be moving out soon, and maybe with De Denise they could start a new start a new family. That'd be fine. I think I went a little too deep here with the with the clearing off, but it'll happen, especially if they fill up the uh, the food 
requirements again, then they can come start working. Plenty of logs. That's good. New labor. That's great. Our ratio is now screwed up, though. So I think we do want another house with all these adults. I think we must have some adults, yeah, living at home. Yeah, this person's going to want to move out. This person's going to want to move out. Teacher's going to want to move out. All right, so yeah, we're going to want a new house. Perhaps we should think about starting to move some of the houses out here. But maybe not yet. Let's do two more rustic abodes and then we'll probably finish our housing over here and start start moving people out over this way. That'll be fine. Plenty of wood now. Too much wood. 79% full. That's fine. Eighty-six percent. Well, they gotta start bringing stuff over here too, I guess. How's this clearing going? Slow. Getting some of that grub. It's happening. It's just happening slowly. Say so we got some of our food workers coming over now. Which is nice. I'd like to see what they do. He's a hunter, yeah. Gather. Okay, that's great. I hate them to go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth, but it's kind of the only way to do it without unassigning them, and then that's still you're still facing the same problem, so. Our ratio is really off. We need to get these houses up. Everybody's too busy to make deliveries here, I guess. Okay, now they're starting right as I say that. So we'll make two people into builders. That'll be fine because of all the extra labor right now. We shouldn't close the menu. Something I just have an awful habit of doing. All right. These are about ready. So two builders will make short work of that, I think. What the hell? We'll give all three. Because we still have so many extra people from the food industry. This is nice and cleared off now. So we can start to think about crossing this river. I'm also thinking about maybe a logger over here, but there's so many damn trees, we really don't need to do that. What I need to do is clear out all this stone and stuff so these people can be super efficient. It's probably what I should spend my labor's time doing. Yeah, new family instantly there, that's great. Yeah, that blacksmith's fully grown, so he's going to want to move out. So we'll have some more kitties born here shortly, I assume. And all's looking pretty good. All right. Who's moving in here? That blacksmith. Yeah, builder and a gatherer. Okay. So we got two new family units sprung up there. They can each have two kids. That'd be great. So I assume we'll have some kitties born. All right, that's going to wrap it up for this episode, guys. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.